As I said, we're at uh, Candu RV Park in Danville, Missouri. It's about 90 miles west of St. Louis. And I'm actually in the dog park. Uh, it's a nice fenced dog park. Uh, our dogs, Priscilla and Presley, seem to like it quite a bit. Dogs are enjoying the park. I just uh, ran them around a bit. They like to sniff for the first 20 minutes and then they'll uh, start playing. Give me it. Give me it. We chose Candu RV Park. It's about 90 miles west of St. Louis on I-70. Uh, we chose it mainly because it's an area that we are not familiar with and they had a dog park. If you're coming west from St. Louis, it's exit 170. If you're heading towards St. Louis, it would also be 170, except right now that overpass is shut down and being replaced. So you would need to exit um, either past it or the exit before it. Um, they've got a swimming pool, playground, they do have full hookups, it's very, um, it's very shaded, lots of trees. It's not too far, it's right off the interstate, but you can't hear the interstate too much, so it shouldn't pose much of a problem. One thing that really stood out while we are at this park is it is meticulously maintained, especially the lawn areas. They keep them uh, well cut, well trimmed, uh, usually mowing every couple days, so the grass is very very short, almost like a golf course, so it was very enjoyable to walk throughout the grounds here. Graham Cave State Park, like a mile down the road, we're going to walk and check out. Uh, there's also Mark Twain Lake, there's a few wineries around. Today we're about 90 minutes west of St. Louis, near Danville, Missouri, at Graham Cave State Park. Uh, we're staying at a campground that's just a mile from here. So we're gonna check out the trails today.
Hedgehog Squirrel. Master, he made me this color so that I may talk. Squirrel! We're checking out the camping uh, areas of Graham Cave State Park. Um, so far, they don't have many full hookups. They're very easily color coded. Some are reservable, some are first come, first come. Earlier today, we were at Graham Cave State Park to take these dogs for a bit of a walk. A little bit of history on the park. It's called Graham Cave State Park. It's about 90 miles west of St. Louis. It's 369 acres, uh, but the main feature of the park is Graham Cave itself, which is somewhat unspectacular. Um, really, it's very close to the parking lot, so you only have about a quarter, quarter of a mile walk on a paved pathway to get to the uh, cave itself. I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can't go back into the cave because it's a um, pre-Columbian pre historic site. Uh, so there's a lot of artifacts that have been found there. Um, but it's somewhat unspectacular because you can't really explore the, the site. If you're into archeological history though, this site is, uh, is pretty significant. It was evidently the first archaeological national landmark site in the United States. Um, and there's some signage there that tells you about uh, what was found there um, and about the people that first dwelled there, they believe, around 10,000 years ago. Pretty cool. The cave itself is about 120 feet wide, 60 feet high, and about 100 feet deep. Um, if you think about it, even though I said it's unspectacular, seven, eight, nine thousand 9,000 years ago, this would have made a pretty cool dwelling. The common day history of this is that a settler purchased this land back in 1847 and they actually kept it in that family for well, over 100 years until it was donated in 1964 as a state park. Uh, the University of Missouri was allowed to do uh, some testing and archaeological digging and things like that and found all kinds of stuff uh, there at the site which gives it great significance. Uh, we spent maybe two minutes there and then we grabbed the next trail which is right there the trailheads right there it's about a mile long and it was a blue trail we took it and we really enjoyed that so it was a very uh, mildly rugged uh, terrain especially for Missouri the blue trail was very nice uh, it was about a mile mile long but somewhat rugged um, it takes you really from the bottom lot all the way up to the camping area so if you're camping you can take the uh, blue lot or the, the blue trail all the way over to Graham Cave. Um, if you're not camping, you can drive down to the parking lot, take a small walk um, up to the cave. But then, if you want a longer walk, you can take the blue trail and then follow the road uh, from the campground back down around. Um, either stay on the road or take the red trail back over to the lower lot. It turns it from a one mile walk into about a two and a half mile walk. Um, definitely want to take a walking stick with you. Knock down the spider webs. There were literally a hundred on this mile walk. And I also had uh, three close encounters with spiders on my body, which I quickly got off. The thing that I liked about it best was the rock formations. Uh, lots of layers. So in many cases you were walking right along some of these layers of granite or sandstone um, or in some cases you were walking right on top of one of the layers and right on a ledge a small cliff a small drop off and you're walking right on these, these rocks it was pretty cool Un unlike our trip to Cahokia a couple weeks ago these trails were definitely worth the walk in nature and also for exercise and they were very well marked we didn't get lost like we did at Cahokia Mountains these trails have good entrance signage and they also are blazed or marked in a specific color along the way. So every 100, 200 feet, you'll have a small piece of uh, fabric that is on a tree or a marker along the pathway there. 
and that keeps you confident that you're staying on the right path, which would have saved us a lot of uh, walking and getting lost at Cahokia Mountains. <laughs> so we finished our time out near Danville, Missouri, and we traveled southeast to the DeSoto, Missouri area at my parents' place. It's basically the same home that I grew up in from the time I was five to 19 years old. So while we're here, our youngest daughter Janelle and her three kids will be coming up to spend their fall, fall break. break fall break with us here. Is this distracting at all? No. <laughs> so we are going to pause and do some planning and preparing for when they arrive. We're very excited to share some of that footage with you as well as some of the upgrades we've made because we dropped into Camping World while we were out near Wentzville, Missouri.